morning and welcome to another Mum Days video. Uh, sorry, it's been a bit of a sporadic time on here lately. Um, that was just me getting my head around stuff. Me and Thomas started writing Need Man 2 and, uh, and so it's just focus time again and you know how that goes. Uh, so big apologies. But today, uh, Tommy's out working. He has a new group of books uh, in his book club for W.A. Smith. So he's out promoting that today. Uh, he's not left yet, but it's half past six in the morning. Um, both boys actually did really, really well. And, uh, and they were in bed till about six, but now they're both dressed and they're currently putting their shoes on. I've got no idea where they think we're going at half past six in the morning, but that is what they're doing. We haven't had breakfast yet, uh, but I don't really know what we're going to do. It's just us. Obviously, I am pregnant, uh, but we're going to do some activities. Uh, I think we'll maybe uh, go and explore in the garden. Possibly some baking type, type activities, oh, which could me. be... Wow! I haven't had a look and, uh, to see how many bananas we've got today, but we might do my frozen banana thing today. Or uh, we could um, melt some chocolate and do some cornflake cakes. Uh, not entirely sure. Basically, we've got Easter eggs left over. Gonna go to the pirate ship. <laughs> ready at 6.31. Amazing. But they're doing really well with their sleep. I'm not that um that uh about it anymore. I think when you go to bed at seven, six o'clock is quite a reasonable time to wake up. Yeah. There's Buddy put his own shoes on. Oh what are you gonna do today? Yeah. Dada. Dada. I can't, I've got to go to work today. Mum, you do with mum, is it? <laughs> this is my breakfast. But every morning, Buddy has his breakfast, then he nicks my spoon. <laughs> to the supermarket and then on the way back to the, from the supermarket the boys fell asleep so now we've come to the Lido to have a picnic and go to the pirate ship yay, yay!
before Tom came home. I've never read chicken licking before, but I was not expecting that ending. I literally turned the page and was like, no, no, this is gonna make some questions arise. Oh no, oh no. He was fine though. Buzz just didn't believe that the fox had done it. He's like, no he hasn't. He's made the pie for the king. Anyway, um, the cavalry has arrived. It's been a good day. Went to the lighter and, uh, and the, you know what? It was the first time I've taken uh, Buzz out on his scooter and he has scooted from the car to somewhere and then back. Usually he's like off his scooter and he's like, I don't want to wear, I don't want to scoot anymore. And then, you know, we've got to carry around his scooter and his helmet as well. But this is the first time he's managed it the whole way. Literally the whole way without having to stop. It was amazing. It felt very, very grown up. Um, anyway, they're very excited now because Tom's home and we're going to go to sort our dinner and all sorts. But it's been a really fun day. Very fun. I'm still a bit distraught and chicken licking, uh, if I'm honest. I'm off. Push you later. Thomas? Oh gosh. <laughs> We've got to sort our dinner. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, no. yeah, no. We are here on this very earth to love and to be loved.